guys! Today I have a little video for you finally talking about the books that I read this year so far. It's been a while since I talked about books. It's actually been since the end of last year uh, where I talked about all the books I read in 2019. And it's a new year and I wanted to talk about the books that I read this year. I also have a few from last year that I finished after I made the video. So I do want to start with those and these are all on my phone. These are all from Hoopla. The first one that I finished that I didn't talk about in the video is Murder Funding by Gretchen McNeil. This was the second book to Murder Trending and it was amazing. It was so good. It was um, very... It messed with your head a lot. It was very like, whoa, to read. So if you're not a fan of violence or violence kind of scares you, you might not want to read that one because it was a lot. And when you read it, you're just like, like a couple times I had to just like put it down and like breathe because it was like, it's a lot. So there is that, but it's such a good book. Definitely recommend that one. And I recommend Murder Trending first because that's the first book and you're not going to understand the second if you don't read the first. The next one I read is Resurrection Girls by Ava Morgan and this one was good too. The main character's name is Olivia. Her little brother drowned in a pool several years earlier and since that happened her and her parents all feel like they're like in limbo basically. They don't talk about him. They don't bring up anything that happened they just pretend like nothing happened and her mom is on a bunch of drugs and everything because she can't function because she lost her son and she hasn't been able to face that basically but then a new girl comes to live next to them Kara and she is just like something that Olivia's never seen before and she's so intoxicating and she's so different and she makes Olivia do things that she would have never done before. They wrote letters to people that were convicted felons, ones that would never get out. That was another part of the book but it really wasn't the main part. For it to be called Resurrection Girls and it's all of it like the shows, the letter and everything, hmm. It wasn't so much about that. I thought the letters would be a bigger part of the book, but it really wasn't. The next one was Gimme Pride by Jay Thomas. This was actually really short. It's only 20 pages. Chip is, um, he's out of the closet. He's super proud of himself. He's like, he doesn't care. He doesn't care who knows it. He is like, I'm gay. He works a pride event and he sees someone from school that he never would have expected to see there. And the dude is like, don't talk to me. Don't look at me. Don't whatever. And then by the end, he's a little different. Um, so that was last year's books. Now we're talking about this year. This one's called Perfect Girl. I honestly don't really remember this book. Ruthie and Perry were best friends forever and suddenly Ruthie has feelings for Perry and doesn't know what to do about them and doesn't know how to like change their relationship and her her aunt is like the goddess of love. She is in a magazine um, telling people how to find the man of their dreams basically so she asks her her aunt for a lot of help. Really tries to make Perry her man. I wasn't the biggest fan of that one. That one was okay. The next book is called You Asked for Perfect by Laura Silverman. This one was actually kind of depressing a little bit. Ariel Stone, or I guess Ariel, Ariel, Ariel? Is that how you pronounce it? He uh, works very, very hard to make himself perfect. Like, he works hard at school, he takes care of himself, he does everything and more. Uh, so that way he is, like, the perfect student, the perfect son, the perfect everything. Um, he feels like his parents expect it, so he works hard to be everything that they could have ever asked for in a son. He's having some trouble with one of his classes. He is not doing well in his class. He asks his classmate Amir for help, and suddenly they are taking a lot of time with each other, spending time together, working on schoolwork and working on things that are not schoolwork. Um, and he's like, I don't have time for all of this. I have too much happening. And then his sister, something happens with his sister, 
where she's been really stressed out because she sees him working so hard. So now she's like, well, I have to be perfect too because you have to be perfect and we both have to be perfect and our parents expect so much from us. And um, then he realizes, oh, well, maybe I don't have to be perfect. Maybe I don't have to do, I don't have to like injure myself to be perfect. The next book was Be More Chill by Ned Vizzini. Vizzini? Vizzini? Jeremy is a total nerd. He doesn't have a lot of friends. He doesn't really talk to anybody. He works on his schoolwork and all that. He has a crush on a girl named Christine and she doesn't even notice him, doesn't care about him or whatever. And a new pill comes out called Squip. He hears that it's the best thing ever. You can get so many chicks, man. Like, it tells you how to talk to people around you and how to get girls or whatever your main goal is. If it is to get good grades, you'll get good grades. If it is to get women, it'll help you get women, basically. It'll be whatever you want it to help you with. And of course, since he's such a little dork, he's like, well, I want to get Christine. I want to get women. And so the drug helps him get women and, um, he tries to get Christine's affection and the squip is like, well, let's start with these girls and work our way up, basically. That one felt like a really, really long book. 304 pages. That felt like a very long book. That was one of those books that I had to like trudge along and kind of force myself to finish. Another one that's coming up is going to be like that too. It's like I had to force myself to finish this book. The next one is actually a cute little comic book. And this is Book Love by Debbie Tung. It's a bunch of comics about loving books. Some of them are about like going to the bookstore or going to the library or reading books or sniffing books or whatever. It was just about loving books basically. And it was a cute little comic book. It was, it was good. Um, it was very quick. I think I would have liked it better if it was actually in book form instead of it being an ebook. I think I would have liked it a lot better that way. The next book I really didn't like. It's called Get Even by Gretchen McNeil. It had a whole bunch of, it had like four main characters and I couldn't tell any of them apart. The whole book it was like who's talking now? What is happening? They made a whole club called don't get mad, which they call DGM. Things start happening, someone dies, and they actually get murdered. And so everybody's like, well, it's DGM. It's obviously whoever's in charge of DGM is the person who killed this kid. So the whole story is about the whole school trying to figure out who DGM is, and it was... I don't know. It was okay, but there were a lot of main characters and you couldn't tell the difference between any of them and there were a lot of things happening on the side in everybody's life. So they were doing something else and you had to keep track of everything that was happening and the ending was so not good at all. I hated the ending of it and it's like this is a 400 page book. We went through so much for 400 pages for this to be the ending of this story. Are you serious? <sighs> I really wish I didn't read this book. I wish I didn't waste my time on it because it took me forever to read this book. I actually had it, uh, you get your book for I think three weeks. It actually like returned and I had to get it again because it took me so long to read this freaking book and I wanted to read a book a week. That was like a main thing for me and this freaking book took me forever to read and it's like it wasn't even good. I didn't like this book. This book's stupid. And that is the last book that I actually finished but right now I'm reading a book called Masterminds by Gordon Corman. Gordon Corman. That's an interesting name. And this one's 352 pages, but this one works a lot quicker. This one also has a lot of main characters, but it's easier to tell them apart. It's easier to tell what the actual story is. I think this one works a lot better. 
Um, this one is about a bunch of kids who are in this perfect town called Serenity and like there's no crime, there's no bad stuff happening, it's perfect. One of their friends actually leaves town which is like unheard of, like nobody ever leaves because it's perfect, why would they want to leave? There's crime outside, like why would you go there? And he has to leave to work on his grandparents' farm which we find out later was a lie and he actually was sent away to a like private school um, but he says that the people who are there there are some kids that are special and some kids that are not and I'm still reading so I don't know what's going on with that but so far, I do really like this book. I think it's really good. I like the cover of it. I think it's neat. Um, I think it's more of a kid's book. Is this a kid? Yeah, this is juvenile fiction, um, which I prefer. I definitely prefer younger books. I mean, this is still 352 pages, so it's a long book, and it has not adult stuff in it, but it's it reads a little older, so I don't see... I, I prefer books like these. I prefer them to be younger. Um, I just find that it's easier to understand what's happening in the story if it's meant for kids, <laughs> even though it really doesn't read like a kid's book. It's, it's a smart book, and I really like it so far. I mean, I haven't finished it. Um, how far am I? Let's find out. I am 55% done with this book. So I'm only about halfway done. But so far, I am really, really enjoying it, and I'm having fun reading again. I love reading. Um, I've been reading really only at work. That's like the only place that I ever have time to read. I mean, I have time to read when I'm at home, but I don't want to read when I'm at home. I want to watch YouTube or do crafts or something. I never really want to read at home unless I read a book that's like absolutely incredible and I can't put it down. Otherwise, I really don't read at home. I still enjoy reading. It's still a good time. It's just that it's something I only want to do sometimes. Also, if I'm eating out by myself, I'll read a lot. Or if I'm just like out doing stuff by myself, I'll read. But I really haven't been doing much by myself. I haven't really been leaving the house much, so... I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you've been reading lately. I haven't read very many this year. But I have been enjoying reading. Some of these books have been pretty good, some of them not so good, and it kind of felt like a waste of time. But that's always something you just have to do and find out. There has been a sequel to One of Us is Lying that has come out, and I really want to read that. It's not on Hoopla, so I actually have to go to the library, God forbid. I have to go to the library and pick it up, but I think that'll be a really good book. I really don't have time to read an actual book from the library. I don't have time for that right now because we're packing our whole lives up right now. So it might actually be something I have to wait on. Either wait until we move and get it from that library or even I might have to go and buy it on Amazon, like buy the ebook on Amazon and read it that way. I'd really rather not buy the book and if I'm going to pay for it, I might as well pay for the real, like, book that I can hold in my hand. So, I'm not sure right now. I'm not sure what to do. That is the next book I want to read, though. Let me know if you've read it. Don't leave me any spoilers. Just let me know if you've read it and if you liked it. I'm really excited to read it. I hope I get the chance to read it soon. So, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.